Welcome back to Kanye's Kitchen. On the main today, we got some seared scallop with some linguine pasta. A very quick and easy recipe to make. So let's get to it and we'll see how it turns out. Be sure to pat your scallops dry first so we can get a good sear, okay? So pat them dry. Then we're gonna start off with some salt and some Creole seasoning. Then some Old Bay. You know we gotta use Old Bay if we're cooking some seafood. Now you wanna get your pan nice and hot. I already have some grapeseed oil in there. Some with a high smoke point. Get your scallops in. Once you get them in, you don't wanna move them so you can get that nice, good sear. And cook for about two to three minutes on each side. I got a confession to make. I did move mine a little bit, but hey, we still got a nice good sear on some of them things. So now it's time to just take them out and get ready to cook the sauce for the pasta. Now we're gonna leave those charred bits on the pan. We're gonna add a stick of butter to it and melt it down to keep all that flavor. Next, we're gonna add your garlic paste or your minced garlic. I love garlic paste because it's so much simpler. Then add your green onions and get it all nice and mixed in. You're gonna smell that aroma. It's really gonna, ooh, it's, it's gonna get to you. It's something special. Only cook this for like a couple of minutes, you know, maybe one or two. Next, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of some oyster sauce. And two tablespoons of some fish sauce. Shout out to Cliff Crooks. This is a flavor booster right here. Next, we're gonna add some pasta water. This is gonna really help the flavors and all the juices and sauces stick. You know, this is really gonna help us stick together with all the starches from the pasta. Now you wanna add your cooked pasta gradually, you know, till you get the consistency you want. You don't wanna add too much to where you know you don't have enough sauce. So just add it bit by bit and then keep mixing it in until you get that kind of look that you're looking for. Next, we're gonna add some parsley, cause you know, it's parsley. It makes everything look good. So just add it in there, bring some more color and mix it all up in there. Mm, mm, mm. We done did it again, folks. Oh my goodness, that is a masterpiece. Just look at that, it's so beautiful. I know y'all saw that action shot. Mm. Now, you already know what time it is. It's time to taste it. 
just want to show you just another close up. Just, can you can you see that? Let let that focus a little bit. Ooh, ooh. It's so it, it smells amazing. So ah, the best part of the video. It's time to taste it. Get one of these scallops in here. Ooh. Get a little piece. Of if I start slurping or anything, hey, just just don't mind me. Man, oh my goodness, there, there's just something about scallops. I know some people don't like the texture of it, but they cook so fast and they taste so good. Oh my goodness. And the noodles, it's like a garlic noodle type uh, way I made it, you know, with the butter and garlic, you know, you're gonna see all that in the video. But, oh man, see we had that fish sauce. That's that flavor booster. Shout out to my boy, uh, Chef Crooks. Cliff Crooks taught me that. Oh my goodness, this is... Mm. 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 And that butter make me, make, be making my lips all greasy. I'm gonna wipe this off real quick, hold on. Mm. If you don't mind a little grease on your lips, this recipe is a wonderful one. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to finish this. I'm gonna get a second plate, most definitely. Stay tuned for the next episode. We out.